following trig identity. So what we'll do is we'll get a common denominator. So we get cosine theta, cotangent theta, all over one minus sine theta. And we're, here, I'll just go ahead and do this one times one minus sine theta. All right, so then this becomes cosine theta, cotangent theta, minus one plus sine theta, all over um, one minus sine theta. Hmm. Let's see here. So this can become cosine squared theta over, uh, I'm converting cosine times cotangent over sine theta. Um, and then we can put another sine theta over under this, this sine theta. So it becomes plus sine squared theta minus or one. And then this becomes one. So we get one over sine theta minus or one and then this is all over one minus sine theta. So if we multiply this by um, on, on top sine theta, so we get one minus sine theta over sine theta. And on the bottom we have our one minus sine theta. So we essentially end up with um, one minus sine theta over sine theta times one over one minus sine theta. It was a cosecant, yeah, that's right. So these cancel off and we're left with one over sine theta, which is the same thing as cosecant theta. And that's it. All right, I hope this problem helped you out. Appreciate you watching. You have yourself a great day.